this case study is uh, a beautiful example of how to market a marketplace. So a marketplace is one of the hardest challenges of all of marketing because you have to bring together the practitioners, the participants, and the clients. A great example is Uber, where you have to have the drivers on one place and you have to have the people who are going to be uh, drive, uh, driven around on the other. Heel match matches therapists and people who need um, the, the kind of work that they provide. And it's a really challenging marketing uh, challenge that, that Jackie has undertaken and that any marketplace undertakes because you have to market to both. And your product really depends on having a lot of high quality therapists in there so that you have something to market to the potential users of this service. Now, what, one of the things I want to point out to you is the last two slides before she wraps up, Jackie talks about how she targeted a specific persona and then carried that targeting through every step in the customer journey. And it's one of the best examples we've ever seen of someone really understanding all of the pieces and putting them together in a couple of slides. So I really uh, am excited to welcome Jacqueline Tibbet, founder and CEO of Heal Match. Thank you for that wonderful intro, Dan. And a great job, Nakia and Zoe. Looking forward to my doll. All right, let me share. As Dan mentioned, I'm Dr. Jacqueline Tibbet. I'm the founder of Heal Match. And Heal Match is a marketplace, as Dan said, where we match massage therapists to customers focusing on massages healthcare. Now think of match.com meets Angie's List. Um, we are working first to get quality massage therapists. So the campaign that I came into BizHack with was to subscribe massage therapists to our new massage marketplace. And I wanted to use BizHack because I wanted to come from a place of authentic storytelling. And I also wanted to come from a place of authority and knowledge with my marketing team, some of whom are here today. I really appreciate them joining. So without, whoa, without further ado, I'll oh, have this, I didn't load. Um, without further ado, let me tell my story of me. Let's see, I'm gonna exit. Sorry for the technical difficulty. So my story of me is, as of course, is a story of us. Um, when I was seven, my father was working 100 hour weeks and not paying attention to his health. He had a stroke at 40. Here's my parents uh, pictured with me here. Both of them are on the call today. My family uprooted our lives for his rehab. It was a long road and he still needs 24 seven care. Over the years, I've been to every type of medical appointment. And I'll tell you, no one has brought vitality back to my dad, like his physical therapists, who literally reached together with him towards his goals. So my early experiences taught me that number one, preventative wellness saves lives. And number two, when a health provider gives undivided hands-on attention, magic happens. Now I've spent my career on different sides of health, earning a PhD in neurophysiology and practicing as a massage therapist. And I'm working to make massages healthcare easier with a new online platform. Hi, I'm Dr. Jacqueline Tibbet, founder of Heal Match, and I improve people's lives by matching them to the right specialist massage therapist for their needs. I'm focusing today of the entire BizHack journey on just a case study of our uh, problem, which was a disjointed and unclear customer journey. If you don't know what that is, you'll learn. And, and the solution and the results we got from it. The solution was to clarify our customer journey using BizHack's advice, coaching, and, and the lessons we learned. And our results is that our team has better access to our lead info, our potential therapists. Our process is more efficient, and it's so much easier for me to write ad scripts because I know who I'm talking to and what stage of their journey they're at. So this is an example map of a customer journey. This was the one we kind of started with, and it's an unclear journey. And the results of an unclear journey is that um, 
this leads to lack of follow-up. So if we have some leads or potential customers, we might lose them uh, before we get a chance to talk to them. Uh, the offers that we're giving them might be unclear. And I think this leads to a loss of therapists uh, who could be our customers. One of the bad habits we had is um, that we had a call to action from our ad that was linked to our main website. And this can be very confusing because you just see the whole website and the customer doesn't always know where to go or what to do first. Another bad habit we had was um, that we did cold call sales. Actually, this had good results, but it risks a bad reputation and it's kind of spammy. And then we're just calling people from a registry. Our solution was to clarify our journey with this house advice. Uh, my coach Ricardo walked me through a lot of this. He taught me how to use yes, no logic. So there's only at each stage, there's only one thing you can do at each point. The customer says yes to this thing or they say no to this thing and then they proceed from there. Our ad now directs to a landing page instead of to our homepage. So there's just one thing the customer can do there or the potential customer. We've involved new automation um, and it, the calls we're placing now after uh, someone fills out a landing page. So I think there's more consent there. And in addition, um, in our emails that they get from us, we're trying to modify our offers. So what the customer is offered to the stage of the journey they're at. And as uh, my coach Ricardo Barris would call it, uh, each time you talk to them, you want to sweeten the deal. So BizHack and our coach have worked extensively with us to help clarify this journey. Um, I'm not gonna focus on my first ad, which is about brand awareness. The second ad was uh, we retargeted the people who saw our first ad for the purpose of having them sign up. So again, this is all geared towards therapists. I only had to run the ad for four days. So only got to spend $21 on it. And those $21, 4,000 people saw it and 50 people clicked on the button and to sign up, which was a, a click-through rate of 1.25%. That's actually not bad. Uh, if you notice on the left, um, we did target both genders um, and the, it was more expensive to get females to click than males. And um, on the right is just a snapshot of what our ad looked like, which was just me speaking to therapists and saying, this is our offer, this is why you should sign up. We actually had no form fills from that landing page, but now we're getting a few people indirectly that might have interacted and said that they used Facebook to find us. So um, we've had a few new leads come in, but no one directly from that ad. And that's okay. It's okay, this is all a learning process. One of my biggest insights from, or ahas from this hack is confused people don't make decisions. So I don't know where the original quote came from, but when Ricardo said it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Number one, uh, we can't be sending people multiple links and not knowing what we're going to do with them at each stage. But number two, this includes me. Like, if I don't know what I'm giving my customers, how will they? So it's my biggest takeaway from this hack and something I uh, aim to incorporate into my life and marketing strategy, especially. <laughs> The second insight is uh, a little more technical, so I'm not gonna go through it step-by-step step like I did with my class. It's to stay targeted to your persona or the people that you are offering to. So your persona should match this pathway and every time they interact with you, they're going to get something that's really speaking to them. And that includes the final offer that they give. Uh, if you are interested in taking this class or interested in marketing and you don't know what these steps are, I guarantee you by the end, you will. So what's next for Heal Match? Well, we refine and repeat. Uh, we take what we learned and we try to improve on it. So uh, no one signed up. We wanna know, was our offer actually targeted to our persona? Um, to do that, we're going to improve some things like next time you run an ad, we use a single gender instead of both gender audience, uh, give the ad more runtime. Um, and uh, we actually talk to customers just for the purpose of learning more about them to see whether the people that we think we're talking to really have this, uh, really want what we're offering. And with that, I would love to thank BizHack and the Digital Titans team. Everyone has been amazing. It's been a really fun journey. Uh, we need eyes on pages. So whether you're in Florida or not, please follow us. Uh, we're at Heal Match on Instagram or Heal Match Us on Facebook. 
If you are in Miami, if you're ready for a massage or when you get that vaccine and you're ready for a massage, please use heal-match.com to find your massage therapist. We look forward to uh, seeing you more. Thank you so much to everyone. Great, uh, you know, as, as the uh, coach for, uh, for Jacqueline and Heal Match, um, I wanted to ensure that uh, there was a clear understanding of why we're doing what we're doing. And in the biz hack, we teach these steps that uh, every participant is required to follow in order to extract the best results. And what you saw there on the last uh, slides for, for Jacqueline, she demonstrated in the most efficient way as Dan um, alluded to earlier, how you should really think about the message that you have for your customer and not necessarily wanting to confuse them. I didn't create the quote, uh, but I did hear it from another mentor of mine. So I, I kind of paid it forward. Confused people do not make decision. And so um, you want to ensure that you get rid of any semblance of confusion that might uh, be portrayed to your customers or your potential customers. Uh, and that will very, very much help you. But as you could see in the last slide for her, she, she illustrated very perfectly how one message is for one persona and so forth until you get to convert that persona. So I really hope that that was also helpful as a way to, to, to learn from, from each other as you're presenting. So congrats to Jacqueline. Um, I think you, you did very well and you keep that up. Scientifically, you will see results, but I, I'm certain that uh, uh, you will also be able to enjoy more learning as you, as you progress. So congrats. Thank you, Ricardo. Um, yeah, you know, th that, that is just textbook marketing. Um, and I, 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 I hope you guys all see how clear and simple and systematic it is. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But if you do that and you do that successfully, you're marketing like IBM, you're marketing like the big boys. That is how they market. And this is why they have large budgets and large staffs. And, you know, it's, 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 it's time consuming. But if you can create an ad that targets a specific persona with a specific message and then carry that out all the way down through the marketing funnel, through the customer journey, you're gonna have a higher likelihood of success. That's what's so brilliant, frankly, about digital advertising, is that digital advertising allows you to create those kind of customer journeys uh, and that kind of specific targeting where you know exactly who you're talking to every step of the way. Uh, very different than what you can do on a website where it has to be by nature a more generic message. <laughs> 